What do I owe the pleasure of this visit? No, let me guess. Bad news for me. Hello, old man. I just thought you should be the first to hear about your future grandchild. You managed to get yourself knocked up again? Who'd you have to bribe or threaten to accomplish that? That's funny. I'm not actually pregnant yet, but I will be. And my child is going to inherit the combined Corintho, Sakara power and territory. Oh, yeah. No brat of yours is going to take my legacy away from Johnny ever. This child is going to be the final piece in the puzzle for Sonny and me. Isn't that sweet? You're delusional, Claudia. You nurturing a baby, that's a good one. My child is gonna have everything that you never gave me. Which just goes to show what a complete monster you are. I mean, what kind of person can have so little feeling for their own children? I love John. And I was smart enough to see you were a lost cause from an early age. A little like a rotten apple. And you did a great job of proving me right, too. So congratulations, Claudia. You are now just as treacherous as your mother. You're the traitor. You left my mother behind and you left me to fend for myself, and I would never do that to my child. Oh, such confidence. How do you even know Sonny wants to have a baby? I mean, with you. He doesn't want to have another baby with you. I doubt if he was even on board for the first one, if it was even his. Shut up! So Shut up! Don't you dare mention my baby, or I swear I will... I will cut you down in your sleep, old man. Ooh, looks like I struck a nerve, huh? Don't make the mistake of thinking that my child didn't mean anything to me or to Sonny. Don't. Our baby, our new baby, is gonna have the life that the first one should have had. And we're all gonna be a family, and there's not a thing you can do about it. And you're all gonna live happily ever after, right? What a joke. How long before you figure out that Sonny's been stringing you along, Claudia? If he wants a baby at all, he wants it with the Bensonhurst woman, Olivia. Set up the meeting. Yeah, get back to me, Bernie. Thank you. Well, now that Bernie's satisfied, maybe we could go upstairs and get to work on each other? You know what, it, um, it's an important meeting, and I just don't think we should start something that we can't finish. And I need to be reachable for Bernie, because it's very important. Okay. Uh, I mean, should I be offended that you'd rather talk business with Bernie than no, go upstairs we'll, with me? No, no, we, we've talked already about, you know, with business before pleasure. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go then. I'm going to go to Jake's and congratulate Spinelli, and maybe when I get home, we can make some time for each other. Claudia wants to have another baby, and I agreed to try, and I wish to hell I hadn't. But it seems pretty simple to me. I mean, if you don't want another kid with Claudia, all you got to do is tell her. That's easier said than done, Mike. <laughs> Claudia wants another baby. It's, it, she has every right. And I'm feeling like it, it's on me to give her a baby because it was my daughter who killed her son. I'll explain everything to you tomorrow when you're good and sober. Let me just no. get you home right no, now. No, Olivia. No, I am not going anywhere until you look me in the eye and you admit that I am right. That, that Dominic is really Dante. And if he's here under an assumed name, that can only mean one thing. Stop your damn business what my son is doing. Okay, so I'm right. You admit it, that Dominic is really Dante, Sonny's child.